back. It's another great, great stream. Back on the western trails of Pennsylvania. Just kidding. It's not Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, my stomach. It's that Philly cheesesteak burger from Burger King. Killing me. Pretty much saved me where I saved it. What's this about? Oh, yeah. Okay, Molly needs to speak to me. What's this about? Grace. Dutch, I see you sniff around. Is it? Kaliga Hall to see what you can find out about the grave. Sweet. You don't look rad dressed in the law. The autosave contains autosave American. Want to write the data. Goodness, now it's questioning me. Morning, Arthur. Okay, boy. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. <laughs> Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should <laughs> do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God no. help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what oh, is it? Sense. It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get I know, shot, I don't want it. it. You are no. a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very a sick man indeed. <laughs> Oh no, what is wrong with you? Smart Alex. Yeah. No. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. While you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you 
don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be... Passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> get shot but this is a mistake i work for cornwall kerosene and tar mr leviticus cornwall oh great so you know <laughs> he doesn't i hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much oh he'll miss it okay why don't you check out around the back Arthur, help me out here Oh, I got a rabbit. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Let's see what's inside. Jimmy's out. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Sounds like mental. Oh, no. <laughs> Menudo. Mental. Look, I got an iPad. Check it out. The story's on. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking. Chima. <laughs> Jebediah. Jebediah Springfield. The same thing that the town of Springfield. Get rid of these sons of bitches! Do not die. Well, nice going, Uncle. Jinzo. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history! How do I know? Buster, come on! Ah! 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 Oh, I'm allowed to shoot them now? Child, the boy. I'm allowed to shoot them. Where am I? Oh. Trees are magnetic to them. The trees will destroy me. Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. Alright! Oh! Why didn't it jump over, you dumb horse? Hurry up! We ain't got time to be flipping. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. Let's 
try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Like, what? Like, tell me what you heard. I don't. Told you. Maybe Jasper. I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Ain't gonna not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the the barn. Sir. Ooh, they're coming. Jackson with the X. No, you and your Jackson crap. Or Jimmy. No. Or Jason. No. We'll pick one. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Is she sure she's gonna see Bus! the right person there? Place is empty! Shit! I gave her the link. I gave her the link. Huh? I gave her the link. Give him hell, boys! Not good. We got more of the bastards. Still here. I cannot see. Thank you. Behind you, Charles. You don't pay me. I have to go pay myself. Mm -mm. Uh, yes, I'm. Mm -mm. Yes, I'm. Go pay myself. Damn. Damn. I have to shower myself too. Oh. Wow. They're after me. Look, they're coming in everywhere. You don't mess with the wrong man. Watch it, Charles. Oh shit, this fire is actually burning me. When is fire burning me now? All of a sudden. See? I like to burn. Stupid controller just started going forward. Like an animal. Where's the boy? Let's head to the 
dual wheel. Six six six. What's on it? It's just six six. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse them. Arthur, with me. Why is that one just we got some money, up? didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our back. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jensen. Stay quiet and move. What? Come on, horsey. Oh, so I did it, babe. So I saw she did. And it said no. Hey, what? What? Ah! What do you want, boy? Sheriff's order. Me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged.
What the hell? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. I wonder if they're gonna redo, like, uh, Bully. You ever play that one, babe? Have you ever played Bully? What the? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's by Rockstar, too. But you're like in this school. It's like, oh, <clears throat> like preppy. There's like bad stuff that goes on. You're the new kid, and you from the hood, and be bad. Huh? I think, see you at the or it could be the other way around. Where all the bad kids go. Excuse me. I remember, but I remember we playing. Friends? <laughs> Not yet, but he is hoping. It was like I yesterday. Guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious phalanx. but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. <laughs> looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Dang, there's some Romeo and Juliet stuff happening right now. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worth the stranger than our guards. What? I always press down. I don't know why. Pass up. Pass up. Pass up. Look at it. Oh. His eyes were popping out. His eyeballs. Fun run. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, I don't like this waypoint right here. It's getting on my. Their sight is pretty low, so I think I could get pretty close without being seen or alerting them. Oh, I seem to be stuck in this tree. What in the heavens? <laughs> wow. That's perfect. Their vision is pretty low. Doesn't seem too bad. Could get through it pretty easily. Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages. Or... Well, I don't know. Cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, Will you give this to him? Sure. Oh goodness, now it's red everywhere. Why is it red everywhere? I'm freaking out. It wasn't red earlier. Now everywhere is red. Oh, Bagheera. If I squint my eyes, I can see nothing. <laughs> it's just worse. Oh goodness. Oh, okay, I can still see where they're at. Why is it red though? It's freaking me out. Oh. I like that sneaky team. Let's do it. 
then. Now I gotta go back. Yep, apparently I do. I don't get why Burger King doesn't have to You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Okay, You're... Good. Thank you. <laughs> my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. No, but making they're gonna... Him, making him they'll marry kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. Cousin. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of I'll pay. Like my family. We've still got some money. Outside of his family, he said no. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. That's hard. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come on. We better get going. But then again, we are all brothers and sisters. Man's up, all right. But follow me to Rose. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town! I'm going to get it. I'm so hungry, though. Easy, boy. Calm down. Hey! I can't be calm. Calm down. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? Damn, I cannot let you go through Lip. this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. 
Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun! Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. <coughs> we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> we're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we now, fetch now. the water. Take we us down Main Street, right through me. town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. Our trust will make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy there. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb <laughs> specimen, I grant it. <laughs> a little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. I didn't tell you to stop. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What you the hell is going on? Oh, well, oh, my God. God. I mean, it's all this trouble. You're a And gentlemen, yes. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yes. For today is the day we begin to live Not as equals. Equal. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yes. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yes. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. His philosophy hey. on what the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. It stopped them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We, we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Not the future. A land of equality. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot in voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here only 10 minutes. Sooner it's out, sooner it's resolved. The sooner yeah. it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites. 
We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't oh, right. <laughs> you know, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I, I feel like it's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me.
You might be interested in this. They're a war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? Don't spend it all at once. So long. Okay, boy.
upstairs. Trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on to me. Federal ain't got no authority here. You crazy? Pay tax the land rubbers up north. Now get out! I declare these goods the property of the citizens of Lemoyne. Let's move! You fellas, we real doing what's sad. necessary. Move along! Playing soldiers like a bunch of schoolboys. This ain't no slack jaw outfit. <laughs> So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you.
offer. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some food. Why are they gonna kill Pac-Man? This way, on me. Fun run. Thank you. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them that I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west. Is out west. And you're all who you are. Decent folks. Some places down here. They judge different. Well, Anna, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus... It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah! Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little for getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. this field. 
Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Well, we're going's close, but you'll need a mount. What were you jawing about before? We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Let's what are you doing? Boy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. Yep. Ain't he gonna ask questions if we get any closer? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. What you see? Bring your scope. Just a moment. I'll wait on your scent. <sighs> got a Gatlin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So? You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. Have all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merits <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Just people. Just a moment longer. Uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darkie! I said, a miracle shall strike you down. <laughs>
fine by me. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? <laughs> you got anything? Not yet. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? I think we should search the crates, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Go, go! Let's haul! some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all... I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. 
Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But that's not but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? Well, keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. you Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion at Valentine. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and... I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. 
You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaner? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Oh my goodness. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. And we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. There's a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out.
on Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? You know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolania. <laughs> now where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. <laughs> She's got him real down. You don't know me. Stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up high. I'll get on the one, okay. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up. It's a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. No word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here. Unlock the door. It's unlocked. We're good. Oh, oh, you think oh, we're here for fun? No. Oh, 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 open the goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! No. Oh, oh. Uh, hurry up. Come on. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Get a move on. Too goddamn slow! I'm in! Someone come 
make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I the, 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 the manager does that. I, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me?
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the Did you problem. get your <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it was fun. Well, maybe you're right. Now, Great. go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back like to the camp. And make song. sure you ain't following. Any wilder, 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 Gang, great. Yeah, grapes. Yep. Whoa. Dog and moth is in the ground and you come back here. Barking. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules his, when he uh, took that money. Now, now, I'm real sorry the about dog. the way things turned out. His barking he had a and choice. His mouth is my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And he <laughs> yeah, was exactly. yourself and don't kid Stay yourself. Program his you mouth had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
rest of us, but we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. Got the boat on deck. Travel by sea. Might as well get this horse station. Ideas left. Wow. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be. GPS. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Do you know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction. Like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. 
I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. Are you good? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Showtime. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Hey, the man. Just two. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. cribbage. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. Damn it. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress. Oh. No, don't get stuck. You know how I feel about don't get stuck. Of course you're not. You're Oh no. You're a clown. Oh no. Idiot. Oh Run. goodness. Clown, you're the idiot. There's no reverse on these things. Sad and keep quiet. Even <laughs> if you, you get stuck, that, that's third. it. Oh, Game enough. over. Restart. Put this hat on. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor man is hot. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? No. I thought it was gonna flip me over. Got scared.
Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Nice, he's opening it up instead of just reaching his hand in and, and Gentlemen. pulling the real ones out. Instead of just. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried him. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas and children. I'll have one, Ben. Three drinks. A gift. Got them, baby. I know they're not hot. You think we were trying to? This is over. Upstairs, hurry. This way, up the stairs. There's more coming. Where's the help? Whoa, where's the help? What the fuck? That's fate. Oh my goodness, he died. What? What happened?
telling you. That's good. I mean, it's working better on omelet, right? You're getting more activity in omelet than ever. Oh, what the heck? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Sweet. Oh, dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Well Let's go. Where's the health? What the hell? Online's gonna be so sick, I'm gonna cry. <coughs> Alright, we're good. Yeah. Are you gonna come out crazy? Remind me never to take up a career. We're in November, right? What was it? I keep thinking we're like in July. Or you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. What? <laughs> Maybe. What's that to do this with place is hard. No. I keep seeing those fellas. <laughs> Some local militia. Clearly not too happy my ear is getting hot. Something bit me right here now. I'm just on brother. fire. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more want, money like, before that. Real Mexican. So for now, Jeez. let me go give old no, Mrs. No, no, some of this like... moonshine as well. Let's but call that's it a I'm peace like offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. Is there something? No, right? <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. If your mom was here, there'd be some, right? Oh, yeah. When's she coming back? Huh? When's she coming back? Mm, I think so. Her brother's so, what okay? What do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. <laughs> On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, I drunkards, the local law, you couldn't make this stuff what? up. Rich is Croesus, and on the well, other, they're mortal tell enemies, that. the Braithwaite's, moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe, in gold. 
happening in the middle of it all. You got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys think? I said thinking? it first. You heard Try me right. Rob them yeah. both. You sure? Why not? Because we Damn. got Romeo in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. I kind of want to change my picture. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. That. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all got to pay for something. I wish that, huh? Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. My face. But I wish there was a way to put all of us together. I mean, because we just have the one where it's just us two. But I want, like, all of us. But now we're gonna. I'm gonna need all of us. No, jeez, bunch of babies. But I gotta cry. Okay, where am I going? Some soup. I think if I just go to sleep, it heals me. Yeah, I haven't eaten in. I haven't eaten in forever. He doesn't look like he's losing much weight or. <laughs> Ow! I eat. Shh. I'm going to sleep. Morning. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. I hit evening. I meant to put square. Five out of square is gonna be X. I don't know, square me, but you don't want to X me. Nice. I like it. <laughs> okay. My stamina is at uh, yellow. It's that Super Saiyan mode. I'm gonna save. Take it all off. Um, I was barely at three. I'm gonna go all the way to a uh, ten. Donated my money, right? Be donating like thousands. Look, two thousand. I already bought everything for the camp. Mr. Morgan. Man, get away from me! Morgan. This guy does heroin. And he's the preacher. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Alright, where's my horse? I gotta get out of here. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> this keeps happening. Get away from me. Thank you. What? No. I don't think my horse is coming. I could swim or what? What? How do you go underwater? Oh, 
The horse is about to die. Hey, boy. <laughs> that water is super deep. It's all good, that's why I got the horse. He could float. <laughs> Can horses float? No, they die. And clowns? They die and clowns. Clowns die. I thought clowns were invincible. No, they don't. No, they don't. Why can't I make your voice like that? Are you Batman? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Relax. Batman. Oh, you got it. Hmm. Just shattered my shoulder. <laughs> wow. Fun run. Thank you. They got black Hello. slaves. Hello, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Mm -hmm. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Brady. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, <laughs> we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Did you get like bagels or something? After all. You didn't get anything sweet? No donut? Well, besides that. And then you're like, ah. Yeah. Hop on. Mm. We'll fill you in on the way. No, That's not a donut. Fine. <sighs> Dang, did he fall? What the hell happened? All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. Relax, so you swear. Now you're Irish. What the hell? <laughs> Potty mouth. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Born's fast and kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. <laughs> I'm thinking this hell about white toy fitting my boot up your nose, bloody hell, bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea in the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. Tacos. Are you gonna go get lingua tacos? Jose knows what he's doing. Does he know? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll, special...
say yes. Yes. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. Mm -hmm. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> when he wants to be. Can we close the window? I'm freezing. Oh my god. And this boy is taking his socks off. <laughs> Shut up. So he laughs. Hey, get out of the way. That's so cool. You want a bottle, friend? Here. Have a wee drop. Oh no! I mean, you know harm. I come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. They said you'd understand some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Sort of business. Uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <laughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All ah, right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real Fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places. <coughs> you can hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. I nearly got these things ready. Okay.
my new guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? I should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm, I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barred running down manor houses. Burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. I need to set that schedule up. Try to stay out of trouble. She could get really close. This is a quick dousing as well.
in the heaven? Also. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until <laughs> we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. talking about something hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from okay and you're deputies now <laughs> something like that as soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town i knew dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle on the run from one bunch of lawmen working for another interesting hiding in plain sight dutch calls it Hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Easy. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. 
That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look. Tracks. Come on. Mm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Mm. Well. Lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Mm -hmm. This way, Arthur. What are you doing? Excuse me. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Who do you think you are? Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. All right. That should do it. Let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, 
I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Easy. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 that's a lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with that, my brother. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Till I find you. We got one more, Charles. Fun run. Thank you. Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. You see anything? Take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah, fine. The gun's 
Shots are coming from that barn. Come on. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course... They didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. Push flesh for dinner. Yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles. 
ground. Everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> he just nods his head at him. <laughs> so, yeah. Give him the look. And a joke. Alright. His tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property. Sean Watch out! I'm sure. <laughs> Not you, baby. Oh my goodness! Talking about the person on the horse. They must be rich. He freaking ran into me. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But we get even a third of that. Oh shit. <laughs> so how are we gonna play this? Place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend five Excuse thousand me? on horses. <laughs> I'm you sure. should go in the back way. Now though. you wanna be cooking Boy, too coke. Many questions. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna be cocaine dealer. <laughs> See a little bit of Red Dead and you play some games Careful. and look at you now. A You're a rebel. I'll speak to him, See? Okay? All right. You're a rebel. Can I help you, gentlemen? See? Yeah, we're here to see about Trying some to start horses. your own corporation. Yeah, we had a, an appointment. Trying to start your own this corporation. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. My partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come lick, see Lick, him. lick, lick yo. Lick yo. Lick, lick. Lick yo. Lick yo. <laughs> Can you hear that? That's the techno song. On you go. Bang your name. Bang your name. Nice and easy. Hey, baby. No need to rush. <laughs> Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Yeah. All right. I 
think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. What are you doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Thanks for All right, running. Let's hitch up here. I'm trying to hit you more. What are you doing? What in the heaven? Oh, I'm supposed to. Eat. <laughs> it's supposed to be over there. What? <laughs> oh, there's blood. Why would you do that? Your hands are cold now. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you Whoa, do. Whoa, he's trying Come to on. do the horses. Listen, why don't you get out of here? It's pretty you, gross. You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa. Me. Like officials. We That's ain't inappropriate, though. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breeders. Whee. Come on now, partner. Spinning too fast. Okay, fine. Follow me. You These here's mainly the, the studs horse? available oh. for purchase Relax. before working. <laughs> That's what you're interested in. What See? Boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Fuck your Cerberus. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there. Easy now. Easy. Mark, you're gonna tether him up to Avi. Okay. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Avi, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Shit. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. What? Get going, you two. What the just hell are you doing? Do I kill these folks? They blast me, so I'm blasting. <laughs> they blast me first, right? So I can't get in trouble, right? Right, bitch? They can't blame it on me? I was under them. <laughs> nah, you watch it. Easy, easy. 
scared to let go of L1. Is he attached to them automatically now? He's magnetized to them, look. You he doesn't have a rope on them, but he's going to them. For horses. I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john <laughs> arthur javier so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. But I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't <laughs> true. Now, ladies' one tears. But I the like moon was voice, made of ladies' but tears. I ain't got bro. more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe what someone there will the hang you. When did it become cheese? I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, I'm take it, of it or leave. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. He's hallucinating. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again. I hope. Where the hell did we got Dr. Pepper? Close the gate, Clyde. Babe, we can't go to the gas station. Well, come on, let's go. Leave the See? yard spun up by one of that great family. Imagine no, we was gonna to be to wonderfully sleep. rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. For the stream, as always, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Whoops, and should we see you out?